I'm Stephen Bendenoon, and you're watching Israeli News Live. Earlier today, a volcano in eastern part of Russia exploded, shooting ash up to six kilometers up into the atmosphere, reported by the Moscow Times. The volcano actually began early uh, Sunday erupting, but today it uh, ignited much higher about five o'clock this afternoon. According to the article, it says that uh, spewing uh, the, the uh, Kamachataka has begun erupting, spewing ash up to six kilometers into the uh, air. The regional branch of the Emergency Situations Ministry said Monday the nearly 5,000 meter high uh, volcano has, excuse me, Kalushvitsky volcano has been assigned a yellow threat level for aviation safety, which means its eruption does not pose a threat to planes flying over the area. The ministry said uh, in an online statement, travel agencies have been advised against conducting tours in the vicinity of the volcano. The residents of nearby areas have also been urged to stay indoor, keep all windows and doors closed as well. We'll keep you up to date as we find out more uh, from Russian news agencies on this volcano and the actions that it, that it has there. Um, and further news in Israel, the uh, Likud party has stepped out uh, with fists swinging as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has taken the helm uh, of the Likud party and is vowing to come up with a new bill that he will introduce within the first 100 days of his inauguration. This is reported in Israel's national news, uh, Arut Shiva today. And very interesting article indeed. The Prime Minister is saying that the bill that he will introduce is to limit uh, the, the, the small rogue parties per se coming in uh, to, to cause a disruption there during uh, the four-year term that a Prime Minister would have, basically limiting it down to two different parties, the Labour Party and the Likud Party. Uh, and it's kind of interesting because it was Moshe Feiglin who actually recently left the Likud party and has started another small party himself. Of course, Israel's politics has been plagued with this for a number of years now where a bunch of small parties have been, have been uh, building. Uh, much like though the, Uni the United States, the uh, prime minister is wanting to see two major parties uh, basically duke it out in the elections there. One of the statements here he made is Israel's democracy is crumbling into small uh, mediocre parties, none of which can really lead the country. The problem has worsened to the point that the current coalition just fell apart because the ruling party was not big enough, the prime minister explained. However, the new law he is planning will make it significantly harder to break apart the the government uh, midterm ensuring the prime minister a stable four years. Uh, he also went on to slam uh, uh, the left wing and stated here uh, they continued by criticizing the left for their mistakes time and time again, he stated, and offering a pledge not to make any territorial concessions to the Palestinians that would harm Israel's security. He stated leftists do not realize that even if we withdraw to the last centimeter um, there are elements who want to wipe us out, Netanyahu thundered in his speech from Tel Aviv. Uh, very interesting uh, uh, story indeed. Uh, even more interesting though that I found today was the article written by Giulio Miotti, also published in Arut Sheva's uh, online newspaper. Uh, Giulio Miotti was writing an article, he states here in, in his writings, uh, he's an Italian journalist that speaks on behalf of Israel. The Presbyterian Church USA is considering banning the word Israel from its prayers. That anti-Semitic resolution was meant to distinguish between the biblical terms that refer to the ancient land of Israel and the modern political state of Israel. Uh, it has happened before in his war against the Jews. Adolf Hitler instructed Christian theologians to rewrite the Bible in a bid to remove all mention of the Jews. Their barbaric spirit is living on in the presbyterial, uh, presbyterial uh, excuse me, presbyterial of these liberal Christians. You can actually read the rest of this article uh, on our Facebook page. You go to Stephen Ben Danoon and then click on Israeli News Live. There uh, you can see the article there or go to our website, israelinewslive.org and you can see the rest of this article by uh, Julio Mianti there. I'm Stephen Ben Danoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom and good evening.